Okay, so um, today we're going to show you some of the uh, new equipment in the Bulls, and um, we're going to start off by uh, the desk. Um, we've got some new desks uh, across campus, and they're very useful in that you can um, bring them down and up, uh, depending on your height, whether you're uh, uh, in uh, wheelchairs, whether you want to write, and, and this is a, a great improvement uh, and allows you to be very comfortable uh, when you work. Um, in terms of the, the sound, I'm wired up with a, a wireless microphone at the moment. There are stick microphones on the desk as well. And the, the most useful one is this uh, large bar microphone. Um, all of them pick up the sound simultaneously and work with one another. Uh, the most important one is with this bar one is to remember to turn it on. Uh, and at the end of your lecture, if you're chatting to the students as you often do, turn it off, uh, especially if you're recording with Panopto. Okay, um, one of the other things you'll see uh, on a, a lot of the desks uh, in, the, in the lecture theatres is a visualiser, a Wolf Vision visualiser. If you go to um, the dot cam on uh, the display controls and literally just lift up the arm, the light comes on and it will boot itself up. And um, you need to zoom it out. And so you can see this is my, my book, this is my hand, and these are some molecules that we use uh, in chemistry. So the book is wet because this is water. Um, and I often find that um, using the, the, the book is, is really advantageous because you can show how you construct an argument with, with your students. So you can um, you obviously have to check your handwriting. And so f say, for instance, we might go into naming compounds and um, I might write out and it might be a bit scruffy. So I might write down NH3 and, and then pause and get the students to work it through uh, and then uh, obviously write down the answer and I might then go well what's the shape on this and we can construct it there and then on the piece of paper there are various rules but you know we'll talk about those another time but it's a very powerful tool and, and the panopto captures all of this as well as you write it and the students can very clearly see how you construct a, an answer and work with the material that's from Blackboard. So the next thing we're going to move on to is to talk about the, all of the, the screens in the Bulls now are, are touch screens as well, which gives you uh, an extra layer of functionality with, with your PowerPoint slides. So this is a, a PowerPoint slide that I might put up at the end of a lecture. And uh, students uh, would be answering these questions and I may want to illustrate a particular one or in the white space draw an example. And, with the touch screens, you can see down the bottom corner here, we've got a lot of options. So you can highlight a pen and then using your touch screen, you can circle uh, a particular molecule and then you can freehand go in and draw your compound. One of the, uh, the options you have uh, when you click on the pen is to, to use a, a laser pointer. And the very big advantage over the, the classic laser pointer, which we would normally turn and look at the screen, you're talking away from the audience. With this, you're still looking and engaged with the audience and, and physically moving. It's, a, it's quite a bit more natural and you're a lot more engaged than turning your back and, and having to, to look for the information on the slide. Okay, so uh, another option that's uh, in the lecture theatres now is uh, mirroring software. So if you've got a, an iPad or a, a Surface tablet or uh, any tablet or even your mobile phone, you can now uh, take a feed from all of those devices and as I'm showing you here on the screen and is mirrored up on the screen is this is a DNA molecule. You can use any apps that are on your devices uh, that the students can then download. So it's a very uh, intuitive use uh, and you can often find a lot of apps that might not be available on, on, on the computer are available. So this is the, the, the elements and, and, and there's some lovely visualizations which really engage the students and you can, you can fiddle with all of these things and, and look at the various different information. And the other nice thing is you're not tied to the desk. So you can move and still use and you know you can spin and, and use all your devices and, and engage the students. You can set up tests on here uh, you could use Socrative and various other different things. And this is, uh, you know, a very important game changer. The other thing is nice is there's a visualizer here as well, a, a, a screen here. So you can see you're not tied to the computer screen. You can see your talk or your mirror image here 
You don't have to look behind you, which really helps engaging the students. So the other nice thing in the rooms is that the, the camera, as you can see, tracks you. So you can, as long as you don't run, it will follow you across the stage. So I can very naturally talk from this side of the stage, look at the screen down the bottom here and uh, be seen and be tracked. And then the, this is all captured within Panopto and the students can watch you back rather than looking at an empty desk, which is a bit soul destroying. And then I can go back and it still follows me. As long as again, as I don't run, it follows you absolutely fine. Back to where you started.